Good morning, everybody. Um, today is chair day. <laughs> and so um, grab your chair if you did not grab one. You are going to need your strap, um, and the strap should be in a loop. Uh, the loop is going to be roughly not quite hips width apart um, for some leg work we're going to do. And then ideally you have your blocks and one on either side of your chair. Um, but, the, but start uh, in the chair of your choosing and you can sit on a blanket um, if your chair is really hard and you don't wanna sit there for very long um, or you know something as long as it doesn't make you slip and slide too much. Um, and then place your feet uh, on your mat or on the floor about hips width apart, pretty parallel to each other. Um, and as we start to get settled into the chair, you know, just some um, thoughts, right? We're all in different chairs. I'm just in a regular folding chair. We're all in different chairs. There's some things that I'll do today that maybe your chair does not allow you to do. So modify, get creative. <laughs> you can figure it out, I know you can. And, um, and just have some fun with this. A lot of people poo poo uh, chair yoga, but I find it really accessible to do some things that maybe are more challenging um, when we're doing it on the floor without a chair. All right, so sit tall everybody and feel, try not to lean back into your chair. Try to stay away from the back of the chair. Um, and sit nice and tall and feel your spine, feel the tailbone descend down and feel the shoulders draw to the back body. Very gently, the back of the head draws back against an imaginary wall. Your hands can rest either on your legs or they can sit in your lap. It's kind of nice to just be a little bit upright. And as you close your eyes, see if you can feel the toes on the floor. See if you can feel your big toes all the way across to the pinky toes. And then notice where you tend to sit in the feet. Do you tend to have the ankles drop in towards center? Do they roll out heavier at the pinky side? See if you can tap in there and try to weight the feet in all four corners. Big toe mound, pinky mound, outside and inside heels. Nice, long, stretched out feet. And then very gently, I want you to press with the feet. Don't let the knees go out. I'm just creating a little bit of tension in the legs to press the feet out isometrically. Tone the belly in, feel the chest rise, the tailbone drop. And notice your breath. And notice the, the state of your body this morning. Do you feel tired or awake? Do you feel hot or cold? Starting to take some deeper breaths in, exhaling and letting it all move out. Good, few more here. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale it all the way out. Good, one more. And exhale it out. And then watching, be mindful of your neck and just drop the chin to the chest, nothing else. I'm not pulling down on the head. I'm not rounding the shoulders, just dropping that head. And then depending on the chair that you have, take the hands to the sides of your chair and either just let them hang or if there's something easy that you can hold on to, um, just gently hold the sides of the chair. Keep pressing the feet away from each other. Let the back of the neck stretch out, let the chin tuck toward chest. And then very slowly mirroring here, very slowly bring your left ear to your left shoulder and breathe. Keep the right hand wherever it is holding on to some part of your chair 
and just let go of the left side. So left ear to left shoulder, left hand is just hanging. Big stretch here, maybe. Good, one more deep breath here. Exhale it out. And then let the left hand come back to the chair, tuck your chin to your chest and go over to the other side, right ear to right shoulder, both hands holding on gently. Find your breath. Notice, are you losing touch with your feet as we focus here on the neck? Let the right hand go, just let it hang as you hold on to the left side. Deepening that stretch all along the left side of your neck. Good, take the right hand back, drop your chin to your chest, take the head up to neutral, roll your shoulders back. And I, if you have the type of chair that you can bring the arms behind, I want you to bring your hands behind your chair and then press the shoulders back. If you don't have that kind of chair, just hold onto the sides and pull the elbows back. And then imagine that somebody's trying to pull you off the chair. So your torso's coming forward, your hands, arms are resisting back. And we're just stretching out the front of the body, draw the, the head back as if you could do a little chin slide back, breathe, and then hold this position, look over your left shoulder, and then center, look over the right shoulder. And center, drop the chin to your chest, keep the shoulders back. Take the head up to neutral, release those arms from your chair. Inhale, reach up, exhale your hands to your heart oh, and let it go. Good, and then take the feet wide, wider on your mat or on the floor and scoot your butt forward so that you have room behind you on your chair. On the exhale, go ahead and go into a nice little cat pose. Just stretch it out, chin tuck, back round. If it touches the back of your chair, that's okay. And then pull on the knees, draw the elbows back, squeeze down all the way down, and then exhale it back. Good. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, little seated cat and cow. Exhaling back, inhale, pull those shoulders. Exhale it, round it back. Good, two more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull back. Good, inhale. And exhale, exhale, exhale. And come upright and then just take your elbows to your knees. And press those elbows down and lift your heels off the floor. Yep. Keep pressing down with the elbows. So this is some isometric work. We're working with the calf muscles. You're probably feeling those babies already. The harder you push down on those knees, the more work those calf muscles are gonna get. If you start to cramp up, just let this drop it down, right? And lift the toes, that'll release that cramp. Good, hold on, hold on. Just five more, five, four, three, two, one and drop it down. Maybe you need to walk the feet forward a little bit and lift the toes off the floor. Still pressing down on those elbows uh, to knees. You won't feel it as much, but isometric work for the shin muscles here. And breathe. Yep, couple more, couple more. Hang in there, big flex of those ankles and release and let go. Take your feet even wider on your mat. You're still at the edge of your chair, everybody. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, reach up. Exhale, take your elbows to your knees. Your torso is facing the floor. Now, some of you are gonna hang out here, lengthening through the tailbone, but keeping the chest lifted. Um, others of you are going to be able to take those hands down to the floor or to your blocks, right? If you have your blocks handy, you can take those hands to blocks as we start in this little bit of a forward fold. And just kind of notice, right? Where do you have the head? Where do you have the feet? I'm pressing my knees into my elbows and I'm pressing my elbows back into my knees. 
getting some nice work for those inner thighs lengthen through the torso everybody big deep breath still okay release the hands from the floor take your hands to heart position push elbows to knees knees to elbows big deep breath and exhale it good release one hand to each knee and come on up good last one here your blocks are on either side of your chair bring the feet back in and i've got mine up at the highest level inhale take it up exhale left hand to left side block press down on the block and press down on the right hip good so you're pressing down on that opposite hip getting a nice stretch for side body big deep breath try not to hike the left shoulder up to the ear and lift up all the way up exhale other side stretch 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 Woo. and breathe and take it up exhale your hands to your heart roll those shoulders back and release grab one block take it between your thigh or between your yeah between your thighs it's weird when you're in this position and i have mine second with i want you to squeeze the block big 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 squeeze everybody keep everything else up nice and tall squeeze breathe and release good squeeze in hold smile working starting to warm up the legs it will get more trust me release three more squeeze in nice and strong everybody working with those inner thighs you should be able to feel that work happening exhale release two more squeeze in if you want a little bit more you can lift the heels and we get some calf muscle work in there as well release that squeeze last one squeeze in find your breath and release release those heels drop that grab your strap and find your loop and take the legs through your loop watch out for that buckle i always talk about not having the buckle on skin on flesh if you can help it want you to press against the strap feet are relatively parallel to each other big squeeze here you should feel these outer hips working right no kidding big deep breath keep going keep holding this is all about you right we put this effort in we see the results we take good care of our bodies we don't overdo it we don't overdo it <laughs> unless we do and then we realize we've overdone it <laughs> and release the squeeze good three more squeeze 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 everybody big deep breath Woo. and release two more squeeze if you're not feeling this i want your autograph because i feel these pretty much every time and release last one here big squeeze and release all right so you keep that strap where it is come toward the front of your chair the other thing i didn't say about chair work is you always got to watch that baby isn't going to tip on you okay so make sure you distribute your weight so if you're bringing your hips forward right maybe the hands go back to help support that good i want you to press against your strap and see if you can lift those legs it's such a weird angle um and breathe I'm going to turn my chair sideways so you can see what in the world I'm doing. So I realize that angle looks really weird. So I'm leaning, but I'm trying not to lean on my chair. If you have to, you have to. But otherwise, I want you to just push those legs away from each other. What are we doing here, right? We're doing a little bit of boat pose. If you want to hold on to your chair, if you don't want to or don't need to, take the arms up, pull the shoulders back, find your breath, press those legs against or away from each other and against the strap. Breathe five, four, three, two, one. Carefully, slowly drop those feet back to the floor. Good. Take that uh, same strap and bring it down around your ankles down around the ankles and pull against the strap and feel that right so a whole lot different 
Um, not so much up in the hips. I want you to take your hands to the chair, lean back, but try not to lean into the chair. Even if, if you have a nice back, you can press elbows into chair. That can be kind of nice. And then just lift the legs and drop. Two, three, if you don't need hands, don't use hands. Four, five, push against your strap. Six, seven, whew, eight, you got it. And, whew, and release. I think anymore, it seems like in our classes, we get that they, we get that core work done right at the beginning so that we don't run out of steam. All right, so press against the strap. Take your hands to your chair, roll the shoulders back, lift your chest, lift the legs. They don't have to be super high, right? If you need to keep them lower, that's okay. Now push against your strap. Take the arms out, boat pose. Navasana, breathe. Oh, feel those hips working, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. Release slow, nice and controlled. I keep moving my little strap and my tail out of the way, the tail of my strap. Otherwise, roll the shoulders. Hands to chair, lean back, lift the legs, breathe everybody, you got this. Good, take the hands up and go opposite side. Watch your chair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hold the arms out. Maybe you can take the arms big and wide. Breathe, five, four, Three, whoo, two, and one. And sit those legs down and just straighten the legs. Holy moly. It's amazing how like little things, <clears throat> you know, those are pretty easy, right? But they sure are effective. All right, so in a variation of things we've played with before, your legs are out in front of you. If you can, they're relatively straight. If the chair you're sitting on, just does not feel good under your sit bones. Grab your blanket or take your yoga mat and fold it through your chair to give you a little cush. We won't be here super long, okay? So I'm gonna dig my right heel down into the mat and I'm gonna lift my left leg up against the strap. So variation of Dandasana staff pose, working this quad super, super, super hard. Breathe. But the more you push down, the more you push up, the more work it is. Isometric work. I just love isometric work, as you probably know by now. Big deep breath. Five, four, three, two, squeeze up, one, and let go. Whoo, shake it out. Good. Other side, dig down into the left heel, press up through the right. Breathe. Oh yeah, baby. Think happy thoughts. Find your breath. Use that breath to help you through this push down through that left heel. Lift up with the right heel. You got this, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Ooh, maybe bend the knees and release those quads just a little bit. All right, final one here, I think. Roll the shoulders back. I want you to press both legs straight. Now, you may have to lean back quite a bit. Again, if you've got a back of a chair and you can press elbows in, that's great. So find your halfway point, find your steady point. If you can avoid leaning into the chair, great. Lift those feet off the floor, everybody, and breathe. <sighs> press hard against the strap. Yep, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and let go. And then shimmy out of that strap. Set your strap aside for now. You're gonna extend out through your uh, left. Actually, I'll do the right leg first just so you can see. Hands to the chair, I want you to lift, lower, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, woo, eight, yep, nine, 10, lift and come into figure four. So I just place that right ankle on the left knee. I'm sitting up really tall. You might feel a nice sweet stretch through that hip. One, you stay right here. If you have a stretch, right? We always think that we gotta do all of that kind of stuff. But if you've got a nice stretch here already, maybe you hang out right here. Maybe you start to take the torso forward, the tailbone stays back, right? I'm not rounding into my back at all, but I'm gonna see for me if I can find a little bit uh, deeper stretch. Some of you are here. Some of you are gonna take one arm through those legs, hold onto your shin and take it just a little bit lower. Big deep breath, everybody. You got it. And come on up if you're down low, stretch tall, hold on to your chair, lift your leg, press it out. We've done this before, hold five, four, three, two, one, and let go. One of my friends out there asked me about strengthening quadriceps when the knees don't like to bend too much. And this is all that kind of work, right? Of strengthening this quadri these quadricep muscles uh, without overdoing the knees or not over compressing the knees. All right, other side, hold onto your chair. Lift the leg, stretch it out, and let's do 10 lifts. One, two, three, four, yep, five, six, seven, eight, try not to bend the knee, nine, 10, hold, turn it, come into a nice um, figure four. Again, find the stretch on this side. Maybe that's enough stretch on this side, right? We're, we're not as symmetrical as we would like to think. So check it out, see how it feels. If you wanna go a little bit lower, make sure we're getting nice length through the torso here. Just no reason to round. Maybe one hand goes through and we just hold on to the shin as if someone had the crown of our head lifting straight out right to the wall. At the same time, tailbone is reaching back to the opposite wall. That's it. Maybe smile here, everybody. Breathe. So if you're, you know, doing a lot of work at your desk or something during the course of the day, you can take five, 10 minutes and do some of this stuff. Come on up, everybody, and take some of that pressure off. So release. Press it out, hold, and let it go, shake it out. All right, so my knee, folks, I would be very, very gentle here. Uh, you may or may not want to do this. So we're gonna do some squats, and I want you to get the sense, right, that you're on your chair, and your chair is not gonna move. So we're gonna stand up from here. I like wide legs from a chair, uh, from a chair squat. So um, I would, you know, so take the toes out where they're comfortable, knees out, try not to let them drop in. Here we go. You can take hands to heart or you can uh, let them move with you. Here we go. So we're gonna stand up. We're gonna squeeze our cute little behinds and then we're gonna drop down. First time or two, you can look and make sure the chair is still there. But after that, I want you to see if you can look straight ahead at whatever it is in front of you. If you need to adjust your legs, please do. If you don't wanna go that far down, don't go that far down, right? You can come here and just do your version of your squat. That's it. Strong legs, strong legs, strong hips, right? It's gonna keep us healthier, longer. I truly believe that. Make sure the knees aren't dropping in. Are you still with me? Cause I'm sure not counting. That's it, take it up, squeeze, down. Let's do five more, just for the heck of it. I love the number five. So five, four, push into your feet, everybody. Three, and two, Woo! 
Last one, stay standing. Woo! And step those feet together and shake it out, everybody. All right, so if you needed to adjust your chair, I want you to take the chair to the front end of your mat. Um, in the ideal world, all of our chairs would be against a wall, okay? So that we reduce this risk of tipping. So since most of us are probably not at a wall, I just want you to be one mindful that your chair may be able to tip. Two, make sure all four legs of your chair are on your mat and that'll help keep it from sliding. And then the third caveat is anytime we're doing this kind of stuff where your hands are on your chair and your body is back, try not to push on your chair, push back on your chair. I want you to push down on your chair. All right, so your feet are hips width apart. Your hands are on your chair. You can wrap your little pinky fingers around the edges or even more of the hands. See what feels good on your shoulders. And then just pause for a second. Take the shoulders away from the ear, ears. Tone the belly. <sighs> Lengthen the tailbone and just hold. And breathe. <sighs> Some of you are here. Some of you are going to come to elbows. And breathe again. So feel the backs of the legs. Try not to pop them back. Legs can be straight. Just don't overstrain the back of the knees. Find your breath. Some of you are here. Some of you are higher. Some of you are going to walk those hands down to the floor and let your head rest on your chair. Don't put a lot of weight on your head. It should literally just be resting. Find your breath. Good forward fold here, everybody. Breathe. Exhale it out. Maybe while you're there, take a look at your feet. Take a look at your ankles. If your ankles tend to either drop way in or way out, see if you can adjust those a little bit to find the four corners of your feet. Feel your sit bones lifting up. Find your breath, separate the feet isometrically, just pull those feet away. And if you happen to have come all the way to the floor, take your hands to your chair. If you're on elbows, go to hands, come halfway up. And then reach for the back of your chair. Some of you have a solid back, so you're not going to be able to wrap fingers, but that's okay. You can just take fingertips to the backs of your chair. And then press the shoulders back. Nice big stretch for the shoulders, big stretch of the arms. Leaning the hips back, but not pulling on your chair. <laughs> I think I've said that enough already, right? Don't pull on your chair. Don't push on your chair. Pressure is straight down. Good. Lift up, hands to chair. I want you to bend both knees and come up to standing. Roll your shoulders back. So one of the things I love with a chair is sun salutes. And we're going to do a bunch of those and we're going to add on. So the trick with sun salutations in a chair is to adjust your feet as you need to for good alignment. So start at the front of your chair. Spread out your toes. You're not super close to your chair. You're just kind of right there. Roll the shoulders back, find mountain pose. Legs are active, glutes are active, right? The body's nice and tall. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to chair. Take the head toward the chair. Don't let the elbows splay out, bring them in. And then push your hands into your chair to lift halfway up. We're gonna go slow the first time or two. Good, from here, bend the knees and step back with your right leg. Right away, I have to adjust my left foot forward a little bit to one, stay on my mat, and two, feel like I have good alignment. So here you are in a nice high lunge. Squeeze the belly, open up the shoulders. One, you're here. Two, your hands come to your knee. Lift up through your chest. Take the arms up. Nice high lunge, everybody. Feel the back foot. Press the Front knee out against an imaginary wall a little bit without lifting up the big toe. 
Good, exhale, hands come to your chair. Press straight down in your chair, come to plank pose. Good, now draw the inner ankles toward each other. Squeeze your belly, press your torso away from that chair and breathe. From here, I just want you to bend one knee and bend the other knee. Make sure the hands are pressing straight down and not pushing back where that chair could slide. We're just stretching out the backs of the legs. Good, come back to plank, your normal plank, fire up the legs, downward facing dog. Adjust as you need to. If you're long, walk the feet up a little bit. Stretch through the shoulders, the ears, right between the arms. Breathe, everybody. If your heels are not on the floor, don't worry about it. If your hamstrings are super tight, just bend those knees. And then look at your chair. Start to take the body forward. Step forward with your right foot. Step back with your left foot. Okay, so you've got your back in this lunge. <laughs> Everybody step forward. You're back in that forward fold. Bend your knees. <laughs> Inhale, take it up. Exhale, hands to heart. Gotta love it, right? Inhale, take it up. Exhale, come on down, all the way down. Maybe head touches the chair and then push into the hands to come halfway up. Soften the knees and step back, left leg. Adjust your pose. Again, I had to step forward with my right leg a little bit just to make sure I had good alignment. So one, you're here, belly tone, two hands to knees. The chest lifts, the arms go up. Find your breath, Whew, nice stretch right through here. My goodness, especially after all that little chair boat pose stuff. Find your breath, everybody. Exhale your hands to your chair, press straight down, step back to your plank. Open up the shoulders here. Now you'll notice in this plank, it might not be your normal. My normal plank, my hands would be wider. So I'm gonna wrap a couple fingers around the chair to open up the shoulders more. <sighs> Find your breath, everybody. <sighs> and then downward facing dog. Oh, this is such a sweet stretch, right? You could do this every single day. Make sure you've got a little tone to the belly as you stretch out the shoulders, as you stretch out the side body, right? Hamstrings. <sighs> And then look at your chair, step forward with your left leg. Be careful that you don't step too close to the chair. Find your lunge on this side, hands to knee. Inhale, reach up, find your breath. Nice high lunge, everybody. That's it. Exhale, hands come to your chair, step forward and inhale, reach up. Exhale your hands to your heart and release. So that was round one. We're going to start to add on to this. If I'm going too fast, you do you. You slow it down so that you feel you have good stability and good alignment. Okay. All right, everybody. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it down, forehead touches, and then press up halfway. Good, soften the knees, step back, right leg, find your lunge, tone the belly, either stay here or take the arms up. Use your breath, everybody. That's it. Exhale your hands to the floor, listen up. You're gonna take that back foot to the side position. You're gonna leave the left hand, so my left foot is forward, left hand stays on the chair. Open it up to the side, extended side angle pose. Make it a good pose, everybody. Find your breath. Press off of that hand, come into warrior pose. Warrior, breathe, everybody. Feel the legs, feel everything working, good alignment. And then take that hand back down to the chair, Cartwheel back, straighten out your back foot, step back to plank pose. Open up the shoulders, tone the belly, fire up those legs. 
downward facing dog. Oh, right. We could all stay right here, I'm sure. And then look through your chair. Step forward with your right leg. Lengthen out your pose if need be. Squeeze in through the belly. The inner line, the inner line of the legs is active. Inhale, reach up. Find your breath. Notice, notice, notice. Where are you? Right? Are you here in your body? Feeling what's going on? Release those hands to your chair. Turn your back foot to the side position. Watch this front knee. And then take the arm up, extended side angle pose. The arm can be up, the arm can be over your ear. Lengthen through that body. And then press up to warrior two. Notice your breath, notice your pose. Fire up both legs, everyone. That's it. And then take that hand to your chair, cartwheel that other hand, turn your toes. I'm actually gonna step my right foot back a little bit so that I can step forward and not hit the chair. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, come on down, side two. Drop that forehead to the floor or to your chair and then press up. When you're ready, left foot steps back. We're gonna add on here. So we're starting in our lunge. Remember the hands can stay right where they are. Otherwise, take it up. Little bit of flow work with the chair. Exhale, hands come to your chair. Adjust as you need to. Drop your back foot to the side position. Take that back arm up, extended side angle. And breathe. If you like to look up without straining your neck, you can look up. Press off that arm to come to warrior pose. Warrior two. Find your breath. You got it. Take that back hand down. Take the front arm up. Exalted warrior. Find your breath. That's it. Warrior two. Extended side angle. Straighten the front leg. Triangle pause. Big deep breath, everybody. Make sure you're nice and grounded. Breathe and then cartwheel that arm forward while that knee bends. Step back, plank pose. <sighs> Open up the shoulders. Try not to let them hunch up to the ears. Downward facing dog. Breathe, adjust the feet as you need to. You got it, you got it. Look through those hands, step forward with your left foot. Maybe step that foot back away from the chair just a little bit. First, find your lunge, nice high lunge. Take the arms up. Where is your strength, everybody? Can you find stability here, right? What happens if you push your back foot, that ball mound away from the front? Right, so I'm trying to drag that foot back isometrically. What happens to the legs? Breathe, good. Take those hands back to your chair. Turn your back foot to the side position. Your left hand stays where it is, extended side angle. Arm is either straight up or over your ear. Breathe. Tone in through the belly, watch that low back. Push off the chair, extend it, or a warrior two. Getting ourselves nice and warmed up. Breathe, everybody. You got this right. So take that back arm down, take the front arm up. Either look down at that back hand or look up at the top. Which one feels right to you? Breathe. Good, cartwheel it. Take that hand to your chair, straighten up the front leg, triangle pose. Don't worry about it not being absolutely perfect to see what you can see here. Good, bend your front leg, turn to face the chair. Take that back foot forward, listen up. You're gonna step back, plank pose. Squeeze the glutes, tone the belly. One, you're here. 
wrists and shoulders line it up right one you're here two, lift one leg oh yeah three-legged plank breathe lower other leg hold find your breath lower you're here or you're down because you had enough lift your right leg listen up knee to chest press straight back knee to chest straight back three down four five six come on seven come on three left and two whoo, and one whoops that was a sloppy one hold here maybe you drop to the knees watch those knees breathe press back up other leg lift knee to chest for ten. One and two maybe you're counting with me right three and four and five come on six woo, seven you got it nine and ten woo. and then stretch back take the feet wider on your mat shake out those wrists everybody and breathe with both hands on the chair you're in a down dog right a down dog ish pose press into one hand just let the other one drop to the floor shake it out and breathe good switch sides one hand to the chair the other one hangs shake out those wrists and breathe good take that hand to the chair step toward your chair bow down and press up and stand good roll it out roll it out as my friend deb said in her class yesterday all the prep work can be like three quarters of the class it feels like good shake everything out all right so you're gonna grab both of your blocks and this might seem a little tricky at first but you're going to get it i have no doubt and you're going to take both blocks to the edges of your chair and if you you know see mine it's a small chair so you just got a space in between those blocks where your foot your leg is going to go through so do your best if that chair and blocks is not going to work then you're on the floor it's a, a basically pyramid pose is what we're doing, okay? But ideally, you're gonna stand in front of your chair. Let's start with light left leg forward or left leg first. And I want you to take your foot on the chair so that your foot is flexed and your heel is digging into the mat. If you have a back of chair, you can put your toes there, but really be careful of that tipping, tipping possibility if you put that there. Your right foot is on the floor. Your right ankle is right below your right hip. Both hips are pointing forward. Your hands are on your block. Okay, so simple pyramid pose. No big deal here. I'm drawing the left hip back. I'm lengthening through the torso. If I want a little more because I have open hamstrings again, if this is it, this is it. Stay right here. Keep working on the shoulders. Keep working on your tone, your alignment. How does it feel? If it feels okay, walk the uh, blocks to the back side of your chair and lengthen through your spine a little bit more. <sighs> Breathe, everybody. Still feel like, oh, this is super easy. Loving this. Hands go to your chair instead, the shoulders roll forward, the elbows can bend, and you're moving into that stretch. That's it. If you went there, hands go back to your blocks. The blocks go back to the front of your chair. 
and you step that leg out and shake it out. Good, let's go right to the other side. We're gonna be adding on to this. Um, so we start with the basics, right? So here we are, pyramid pose. I've got my foot flex, I'm digging my heel in, my right leg's right foot's on the chair. Watch the backs of the knees, right? For those of you who hyperextend there, draw the shoulders back and just pause. Take a deep breath. Feeling stable and like you have a little further you want to go. We'll move those blocks to the back side of your chair. Open up the torso, maybe bend the elbows. Oh yeah, right leg always tighter, always tighter. Little bit of tone to the belly, nice length through your whole torso, still feeling marvelous. Hands come to the chair, roll the shoulders back. Not about touching your nose to your knee or anything silly like that, right? It's about sensation and being in this present moment and noticing what you feel, right? Where is this for you? Is there pain? Am I too deep? Is there room to move? Is there not, right? Got nothing to prove to anybody, that's for sure. All right, if hands are on chairs, bring it to your blocks, walk those blocks to the front of your yoga mat or your chair rather, your yoga chair, and step that leg off and shake it out and then come up to standing and give everything a good shake. All right, so. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the blocks down to second level so that they're a little bit more stable. We're going to come back to that left leg on the chair. Hands are going to come to your blocks. Now, once again, I like the blocks for the space that it gives us, um, but if they're in your way and you have the flexibility to come to chair, you can get rid of them, but make sure they're stable. And for my knee folks, you're, you're probably gonna have to modify this a little bit. So we start in this easy pyramid, right? That left hip is dropped. I'm lifting both sit bones. I'm really firing up this back leg. My ankle roughly over or roughly underneath that hip. From here, you're just gonna slide the foot out and press it straight back, okay? And then you're gonna slide that knee in the chest and put it back on the chair. If you have like no way, no how, no room, I want you to take the blocks up higher. Just remember they're less stable. You're gonna slide straight back and slide it in, okay? It's like kind of like you're hitting the runway but you need the hands or the blocks at the front of your mat so your chair doesn't get tippy. Good, let's do it three more. Stretch, slide it back in. It's like coming into the runway. And stretch and bring it in. Last one, stretch it back, slide it in. Whew. Good, if you're okay here, dig down deep. Take your hands off your chair, take the arms up, balance pose, really fire up the standing leg. Careful, careful. And then release, hands come to blocks and that leg steps out, shake everything out. Shake out your hips. Good. And let's get ready for side two. Right leg goes up, here we are. Remember those blocks can be higher. Just remember where they are in space, okay? Because a chair, you know, you don't have a lot of room with a chair, generally speaking. Roll the shoulders back and then just refine your pyramid pose. Again, if for some reason you're not using your chair, your hands are gonna be on blocks on the floor. Um, I haven't tried to do the whole leg thing on the floor, so you have to play there yourself, okay? Good, stand tall on the standing leg. When you're ready, squeeze in through the belly, slide and press straight back. And then bring it in and see if you can land on the chair. Good, four more, here we go. Press out on purpose. 
bring it back in. It is easier if the blocks are higher, just so you know. Gives you a little bit more room. And in, last one I think, press out and press in. Woo. Good, and release. Take a little bit of a forward fold and come on up, Woo. stand up nice and tall. Good, I want you to take the blocks out of the way. And we're gonna change it up just a little bit. Once again, balance wise, maybe your chair's near a wall or something like this. We're gonna start easy. You don't need your blocks, so you can set them aside. So you're standing in front of your chair, depending on the chair that you have, your hands come to your hips. And we're gonna start, we're gonna build on this. So I just want you to tap up and down. Other leg, tap, tap, tap. Yep, simple, simple, right? Tap, we're just gonna do a few more just to get the idea and the idea balance. Last two right here. And pause. Right foot standing, left leg's gonna do the work depending on your chair. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. You're going to tap, and then depending on how high the back is, you're going to see if you can tap the top, you're going to tap the seat, and you're going to tap behind you, okay? It's a, it's a lot of work. Balance poses. So tap up, higher if you can, back to the chair, to the toe behind. Good. Let's do three more. Up and back. And back, last one. And release. All right, so far so good, right? No big deal. Switch to the other side. And remember to slow it down. If you're feeling shaky, just slow it down. Okay, all right, here we go, other side. Tap up, tap, tap, and tap back. Here we go. This is two. And three. And four. Find your focus point. And five. And shake it out. So choice number one, that's where you are. Okay, you're gonna tap, 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 and back. Choice number two, you're gonna tap, 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 and not touch, okay? And then you're gonna come right back to the tap. All right, five on each side. We got this, everybody. If you're feeling real weird, you might be too close to your chair too, just as a thought. All right, here we go. So one, tap, tap, either tap back or press back. Bring it back, one, this is two. This is three. This is four. <laughs> Five hold. If your leg is back, take your hands to the chair, square the hips, flex the foot, fire up the legs, everybody. Breathe and release, shake it out and come back to standing and twist it out, just shake it out. I hope you're still smiling, at least on the inside. All right, here we go. Other side, left leg standing. Tap up, tap, tap, maybe bring it back, maybe go to toes. Here we go. This is two. Yep. Whoop. <laughs> that was four. And five. Woo. I can tell which leg is stronger. I got to work on that. If you're there, hands to chair, press the leg back, level it out, squeeze in the belly. Breathe 
and lower down. Woo! Good job, everybody. And just come into a forward fold of your choice, hands to chair or hands to floor. Find your breath. Big deep breath. Good, hands to chair. Hold about midway in, into your chair. Take the fingers along the sides except for your thumb. Step back, plank, option, up dog. Okay, I'm not flipping my toes under. I won't have the stability I need. I'm squeezing that inner line of the thighs. Breathe, plank, downward facing dog, everybody. If you can, I want you to drop down to your knees. If you cannot be on both knees, I want you to sit in the chair facing out and place the hands to the back of the chair like we did before. If you can be on knees, I want you to grab your chair and press it into wherever it hits in your thighs, okay, thighs, hips, wherever it is is okay. Your knees are hips width apart, your feet are down. I want you to hold the chair into the hips, pull the elbows back, pull the shoulders back. Don't let the hips move away from your chair and come into a mild variation of camel pose. So as I press the hips forward, press the thighs forward, it can open up the chest. Please don't drop your head back and breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one, and release. If you're sitting, sitting in the chair and you did a little back bend there, then I just want you to fold forward. If you are on the knees and the knees can handle the compression, I want you to come into a child's pose with your head resting on your chair. It's kind of a halfway between child's pose and hero pose. Deep breath. That's it. All right, so come on up to standing. Need to change my chair orientation. Um, you need room on either side of your chair, okay? So I'm gonna face my chair forward. And a couple of options here. If you already have a chair with some cushion, you don't need probably anything else. If you don't have any cushion at all, you might want to put a blanket on your chair. Third option is to take one end of your yoga mat and put that on there as well, just from a slippy slidey standpoint, but I think you'll be okay. And then you're going to take your blocks and you're going to have one on one side and you're going to have one on the other side. The hardest part of this is just um partly having the chair that gives you enough room but also being just feeling safe enough or confident enough to do what we're going to do so you're going to turn on to your side so what i tend to do is i take one leg to the edge of the chair and then i lay down now i don't care for a block here but some people will so try it either way. You can be on hand or on block. And you're turned sideways, obviously, right? So this should feel good. You can even do a soft fist here as long as the wrist feels okay. But I want you to feel lifted. This other hand can either come here to the front or here to the back, depending on the type of chair that you have. Flex your feet. I want you to lift the top leg only. The bottom leg is in it, okay? Which means it's active. I'm not letting it just drop. I'm keeping it active. Then lift the top leg, keep the toes forward, 
and two, three, belly squeeze, four, five, you got it, six, seven, eight, yep, nine, and 10, hold, 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 five, four, three, two, one. If that leg knee allows, bend the knee. See if you can wrap the back of the chair. Maybe you find that leg with your hand. Open it up. Feels so good. Release the leg, listen up. If you can, you're gonna bring your other hand to the um, floor for stability, and then you're gonna come down on elbow or on block, and then you're just gonna stretch. You should feel fully supported on your chair. So please be mindful here. If your elbow doesn't easily come to the floor, you can place it on a block, on a low block. So just be careful, be mindful. Stretching out that whole side body. And then carefully, you're gonna press back into your hands, hold on to the front of your chair, bend the knees, and see if you can come back up. And then pause for a minute, for a moment in the middle. Oh, I can see I'm not gonna have time for everything I wanna do. All right, so we're gonna go to the other side. So again, if you're following me, I'm just gonna basically put one thigh on that uh, end of the chair. I'm gonna come on down. You can either find the block or find the floor. And then both legs, fire, fire, fire up. The wrist shoulder are in alignment. You can hold on here or you can hold on here. Try not to scoot your butt back and lift the front top leg. Turn the toes in, whoo, yeah. And breathe, everybody, here we go. So one, two, don't let the other leg be saggy. Four, five, six, seven, yep, eight, I know, nine, 10, hold, squeeze, everybody squeeze, squeeze. And then release, see if you can bend that knee, see if that back hand will find it, it might, it might not. That's it. Open up the chest, little back bend here. And then release that side. Oh yeah, I'm like, what the heck did I do on the other side? Use your hand to support you. See if you can drop to elbows and let everything just sink side body stretch. So much with chair work depends on the chair and the size of the person. If you're really tall, there's challenges. If you are shorter, it's there's challenges to using the chair to to work with your body. So that's where you just gotta be a little creative. Good, use the hand to press into both hands. Grab hold of the chair with one hand, bend your knees, and come on up. My chair went, my blankie went all over the place. All right, and we have one more here, and then we're gonna take it down. So instead of being on your side, you're going to be on your belly. Again, your chair, you, if it's never going to happen with the chair you have, maybe you lay on the floor instead. So drop down to your belly. Whew, and then take your hands to the floor in front of you. Now I have my blanket and so it's a little bit slippery. So I just want you to be mindful. And here's the trick. <laughs> you have to find the wet, the, the balance in your body <laughs> to let those hands go <sighs> and breathe. <sighs> Little bit of Superman. Five, if you're leaning too heavy in the front, you gotta slide down more, right? Depends on your proportions, your chair. Breathe, you should feel steady though. <sighs> Five, four, lift, three, 
two, one. Oh, good. And then just come off the chair if you can. Drop down to the knees. You're going to take that chair, if you had to move it like I did, you're going to take it back to one end of your yoga mat. And I think I'm going to skip, yeah, skip the last thing. So blanket on your chair would be nice. You're going to come on down. And all I want you to do for a moment is just place your backs of your heels into your chair. And just pause. Hands come down to your sides. And all I want you to do is curl the pelvis and just lift a little. I don't want you to go high because I'm not doing the prep work for something else. And then come on down. Dig the back of your heels into the chair. Lift. Three. Four. Yep. Five. Woo, yeah, feel the hamstrings. Six, we only got four left. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. And then just relax. Now, the best thing about the chair and Shavasana is the chair <laughs> and Shavasana, right? So ideally, the back of your knees are touching the seat of your chair. In that position, your hips are released the most. If you don't have a chair that lets your feet come through the back, you simply take the legs up your chair, okay? Other option is to take them outside your chair. So the knees are resting on the chair, but your feet are outside. So whatever works for you, find that and a couple of pelvic tilts and tucks right here, just a few, just to soften all that up and breathe. And then lengthen through both the tailbone and through the shoulders, the back of the head resting very softly on the floor your legs fully, fully relaxed on your chair. Find your breath, let it all go. And find your breath and let it go. Can you let the legs be as heavy as possible here? As heavy as possible. Which means the hips are as heavy as possible, the back body leaning into the floor for support. We start to soften the jaw and the throat and the chest and the hips. And just imagine floating in salt water, for example, where you are completely suspended in the water and there is no effort involved. Feel your body soften even more.
We soften even more. those of you who are ready, just consider wiggling your toes. Realize where you are in space with the chair and all that stuff. Slowly free the feet if they are through the back of a chair. Draw the knees to your chest. And very, very gently roll to one side. Be mindful that your chair might be in the way. And then press up to your seated pose. If your chair happens to be convenient, you can lean up against the chair. And bring your hands to your heart. Bow to your inner wisdom, inner goodness. May we be open to all of life's lessons with grace and with ease. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.